Duke's diner, that's it. Why do they always wait for me to go on duty before they start killing each other in the middle of the night? Tyler, somebody gets murdered every day in New York. But especially when I'm on night duty. It's as if every psycho in the city has it in for me. If you want a bitch, do it inside. That way I don't have to freeze to death listening to it. <laughs> You're the boss, Carla. In five years on the force, I've seen some murders. But you never really get used to death. You just learn to live with it, that's all. I still don't know if it was fatigue, or cold, or something else. But I clearly remember the bad feeling I got when I walked into that restaurant. As if some part of me already knew that this time, something was different. How's it going, McCarthy? Evening, Inspector. I've been waiting for you. Hey, Tyler. Hey, Martin. So, what happened? Homicide. I found the body in the toilets. I had to go before I went home. What were you doing here? Were you on duty? I wasn't. I just happened to be here when the murder happened. I like to come by here after work. Kate's Coffee is the best in the East End. Do we have a suspect? A client left just before I found the body. Who is the victim? His name was, uh, John Winston. A regular here at the restaurant. Kate knew him. She could tell you more. Were there other customers in the restaurant at the time? Yeah, two other guys. I let them go home. I wrote down their names and numbers in case you wanted to question them. Is the body still there? The boys from the morgue were waiting for you to get here before moving it. Nobody's been in the toilet since we found the body. Which table was the suspect sitting at? Oh, he was sitting at that table over there. Is that the waitress over there? Yeah, Kate Morrison. I think that you should interrogate her. If you don't mind me saying, go easy on her, Inspector. She's still in a state of shock. Thanks for your help, Martin. It's late. I think you can go home and get some sleep. I'm gonna wait until you're finished with Kate, if you don't mind. I want to make sure she gets home okay. Back then, we didn't know anything yet. We just thought it was cold, you know? If I had known, I probably would have stayed in bed that night, not gotten out till it was all over. That's the problem. If we knew ahead of time what was going to happen, we'd never leave the house. Do we know anything about the victim? His name was John Winston. He worked at a little store in the neighborhood. He lived alone in a small apartment. According to Kate, he was just a guy. Carla, she's really something else. She's not always easy to get along with, but she's the best damn cop I know. Did you find anything, Tyler? For that, I'd have to be able to keep my eyes open. Keep up the good work, Tyler. Man, this guy is dying proof that pissing can be bad for your health. Tyler's been my partner for almost a year. He grew up with the gangs in the Bronx before he decided to join the force. Sometimes he's unpredictable, but he's a good guy. Hey, Garrett. Hey, Frank. How's it going? Hey, Carla. Hey, Carla. So, you guys find anything? We took some samples here and there. We're almost finished. We were just waiting for you before we took the body away. Okay, let's take a look. Kate? I'm Inspector Carla Valenti. I'm in charge of the investigation here. Would you mind answering a few questions? No. Go ahead. Have you been working here long, Kate? It'll be 11 years next month. I've seen all sorts in this place. Down and outers, junkies, you name it. The till's been robbed a few times, but murder? That's a new one. Poor Johnny was such a nice guy. 
Can you tell me anything about the customer who left just before they discovered the body? He was just a normal guy. I didn't really pay any attention to him. What was he like, Kate? Do you think you could describe him for me? I only saw him for a few seconds. I guess he was about average height, fairly young. That's all I can remember. Could anyone else have come in? No, I don't think so. You can only get in the front door. If somebody else had come in, I would have seen them. Do you know whether the victim had any enemies? Anybody that might want to kill him? John was just a nice, normal guy. I can't see why anybody would want to kill him. Did you get the impression that John and the suspect knew each other? No. I don't think they did know each other. The man had already been here a while when John came in. They didn't talk to each other. No, I'm, I'm almost certain that John didn't know him. Did you hear anything while John was in the toilets? Sound of a struggle or yelling? No, I didn't notice anything. What happened before the murder? Did you notice anything unusual? No. It was just a night like any other. Can you tell me what you saw? There weren't that many people tonight. It's usually pretty calm during the week. I was just chatting with Martin at the bar. I didn't even see John get up. Oh my god. You have to try to be strong, Kate. I know that this has been a shock for you, but you're the only one who can help us find the suspect. My shift was almost over. I was just chatting with Martin at the bar. John got up and went to the restroom. The man must have followed him, and then he must have snuck out afterwards because I didn't even see him leave. What happened next? Martin went to the restroom, and that's when he found John. Did you happen to notice anything strange about the suspect's behavior before he went into the restroom? No. You wait, yes. I remember something. I came back at one point just to check whether he needed anything. He didn't answer me. He just stared straight ahead. It was weird. I didn't push it. I thought maybe this guy is a little crazy. God, if I had only known. Do you think that you would recognize the suspect? I'll never forget that face. Perfect. Do you think that you could come down to the station tomorrow and help us construct a likeness of the killer? Yeah. I'll do whatever you think I can to help catch him. Thank you very much for your help, Kate. I hope you find the bastard who did it. People like that just don't deserve to live. I promise you, we'll do everything in our power to find him. Go home now and try to get some sleep. Martin will make sure you get home okay. Good night.